Welcome to the Future Farm. Raise your hand if you've been in here before. Wait, what? Have you been in here before? Okay. Oh, yeah, I've been in here. I've been here. All right. So most of you have some experience in the Future Farm, so you may know some of these things we're going to talk about. Okay, raise your hand if you've never been here in the Future Farm. Just a so, that's a good question. We're going to come back to that, okay? Now, one thing that I want to point out is that each one of these tower gardens cost about $1,200. We have 12 of them here at Riker, and we spent about that same amount on the future agriculture watering system. So, should you run in here and rough house like you're on a gymnasium floor? No. no. Most people do not have access to something like this until they get to college. Yeah, so we're really proud of Riker that we have it now. What grade are y'all? Y'all are going to get to do this in third grade. It's amazing, right? So, because it's so special, I end up bringing a lot of guests from town because nobody can believe we have this here and so I need to make sure that you know all of the things that they talk about when they come in because I want them to be able to ask you the questions and I don't want you to go uh, 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 and ask your teacher right we want you to boldly say the answer just like a real regular scientist would so the first thing we're going to talk about is three big words the ones that were here last year might remember this but we have hydroponics and aeroponics and aquaponics. Now think about those three words. I'm gonna tell you this one is aeroponics. Does anybody remember why this one is aeroponics? Do you remember? Okay, hang on, let me get aeroponics. Why do you think this system would be called aeroponics? So turn around and look at this picture behind you. Inside each tower, there's a little bitty pump. See the pump down in the bottom? Mm -hmm. You're gonna hear them come on in a minute because right now they're off. And they're on a timer. And every few minutes, that pump turns on and it shoots the water up to the top of the tower. See, it comes up here through all of these rings. Up and up and up. And then it cascades down over the roots. So for a few minutes, the roots get wet, and then the pump turns off, and what happens to the roots? They, they grow. They get hot. They dry in the air. That's why we're called aeroponics. Oh. Oh. So the lights are the um, lights are just like the sunshine. So the plants can grow. The water is here. It. Okay, so now the roots, you see, see the water flowing down there, so the roots are going to get wet. But now, in hydroponics, the roots stay wet all the time. Do you think that would grow as fast? No, this is much more advanced, because if you were just sitting in water all the time, you'd get kind of waterlogged, right? You need to dry out a little bit and have some air, right? Aquaponics. What do you think that might be? Aqua. What does that make you think of? Aqua. 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 Right. So what's in the water in the ocean? What? Water. Water and salt. Salt. Oh, who, who swims around in the ocean? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Um, a shark. Fish. Right. Yeah. 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 And what do fish do in the water? They swim. They swim. They and get what else wet. do they do? They get wet. Yeah, what else do they do? They eat and they drink. Right. How do they drink? They eat the algae. They do eat the algae, and after they eat the algae and their tummy's full, what happens then? They sleep. They sleep. And it has to exit their body, right? Right. What happens when your tummy gets full? After a while, you have to go where? To the bathroom. To the bathroom because you poop. And the fish poop, right? And that's what's called aquaponics. They put the fish in the water because they poop, and that feeds the plants. The plants have that food. Do poop. we have fish in here? No. No, come here, let me try what we have. The plants have food. Do plants have food? Oh, get in here. Do plants have food? Do plants have Okay, so y'all sit down. Y'all sit down and 
down the front. So we fix it. Okay, so now y'all can stand. Everybody can see? Okay, so in these tubs, listen, listen. In these tubs, hurry because you got to listen so we can get your seats clean. Ave Maria. There's minerals B and minerals A in here. It's a solution. It's like the minerals from the rocks that are in dirt gardening because we don't have any dirt. And when the pump comes on, it sucks the minerals up here and it goes into the gravity tank. And then the gravity tank, that water is filled up with the minerals and it goes out into those white tubes and see every tower garden is connected with a little tiny micro tube. And it fills the micro, the little tube fills up the green tub with the mineral water from here. Is that so cool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this was a really big thing. Rikers had uh, tower gardens now for about 10 years, uh -huh. but we just got this last year. This is like, that's why we call it future farm because this is the future of agriculture farming, right? right. So right all, now. and we get to do it right here. Right. So all the towers have a little uh -huh. lever in them, just like the back of your toilet. Yeah. And when the water gets low, it starts to fill up, and when it gets full, the water turns off. Mm. And it comes out of the gravity tank and keeps all of our tower gardens just the right amount of water in them. Yes. How yeah. cool is that? Very. Mm -hmm. So, okay, now, yeah. yeah. we are in the future. This Woo! is how agriculture now works. So, one of the things when you get your seeds and you start thinking about your hypothesis, you want to find out how do how does that plant grow out in the dirt? And then your hypothesis might be, how might it grow in the future farm? What do you think might be different? Do you think it would grow faster or slower in the future farm? Faster. faster. Why would it grow faster in here? Because it's an automatic system. It has the exact right amount of minerals. It has the exact right amount of light. It's a perfect good temperature, and there's no bugs. And there's no rain. <laughs> right? And there's no, there's no storms and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. actually we grow 30% faster in here and 30% more, and we save 90% of the water for the planet. Pretty amazing, right? Yes. Okay, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn around and I'm gonna give you your seeds. Now listen, before you get down there, this is what's gonna happen. I need you to put a label on the blue label with your name and the name of your plant. Listen, you're not going to know what to do. When I give you your seeds, I want you to take the rock wool cube and go over to that table, put your seeds down in the cube, and put the vermiculite on top loosely. Don't smush it down on your poor little seed. Just loosely on top till it's nice and full. And then you find, wait, what grade is this? Third. Third. You find the tower with the three on it, and you'll get to pick which black basket you want to put your cube in. Got it? What are you doing first? Getting the, getting the blue thing and right what Thank you very it. much. Good job. Okay, okay, let me come around here and do the first. Stop. And then Stop. We will Stop. Stop. Begin. <laughs> okay. Okay, so get yourself a gray little stick, put a stick on it, and a on it. Mustard, that's like the, in the Bible, the tiny little mustard. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? All right, here comes the little mustard. Look how little they are. Yeah, right, just like it says in the Bible. Okay, so I want you to take them over to the table. Put them down inside the hole, and then put the vermiculite real gentle on top, okay? Okay. What have you got? Are you 
Planter seed, where are you going? Uh, oh, I think you first have to head to this station over here. Gotta. Over here on the third grade one. Everybody, can you remember what aeroponic, hydroponic, aquaponic, do you remember what all that means? I know the um, aquaponic. Aquaponic is what? Sit on the floor. What does the vermiculite do? What did you, you know, the stuff you put on top? Oh, we didn't talk about that, did we? No. I can't remember which group I've said what to. Okay, so we put that vermiculite on top of the seeds. It's not the food. That's what everybody thinks, so now you know. Because we already said the food is the minerals okay. from the A to the B. And it's not the water, because that's the water. And it's not the light, because this is the light. Yeah. Oh. But if we sat underneath this light all day, what would happen? We would die. Oh, we'd get a little hot, get a little toasty, right? So what do you think the vermiculite does? Um, it, it's like the soil. And what is it? What is it doing for your seeds? It's helping it grow. Not really. Oh. What is it? What do you think? It's is kind it, of helping it grow, but how is it helping it grow? So it doesn't get too hot. Wait, exactly I, right. So it doesn't get too, too hot. Easy. It's like the little dirt blanket on top, mm -hmm. so the light doesn't make it too hot, and it's real loose, right? So the light can get through, and the plant can get up, but it doesn't get sunburned, right? So nobody ever knows. When somebody comes in, they all never know what that vermiculite is. They always think it's the food, but now you know better.